Good morning. Thanks for coming by and getting a little dose of THG. So I'm going to show you this morning what um, I am using to make my fence panels, my wooden fence panels. Last fall, um, I saw on the Facebook classifieds, somebody was getting rid of an old fence and they had torn it down and stacked all their wood and said, anybody that wants it, come get it. So I contacted them and I went and picked it up. So to make a wooden fence, you need your slats that are gonna go up. You also need to have Okay, and along with your fence slats, you're going to need two boards that will be the rails to nail the slats to. Um, they need to be the same size. So whatever size you choose is up to you, but they need to be the exact same size. I've chosen to use here a two by four, but I also have some fence um, panels that are made from two by sixes you'll also need a saw of some sort whether it's a hand saw or a table saw or i'm using this little round saw you'll need a drill with a screwdriver bit or you'll need a hammer if you choose to use nails i would suggest if you have the option that you use screws you'll also need a tape measure you'll eventually need a level preferably but you can do without it if you have to you'll need your screws or nails of course and your spacer board and I'll show you how to put all of these things into play okay so this is my spacer board and it's going to determine two measurements how far the top rail top rail and the bottom rail of the fence are going to be apart from each other so I can set it on there there I can set it on here here and there that's how I measure that to make this go quicker this also is to determine how wide of a gap between each of my boards so that they're all even Then I put my next board on. Like this. And I have to measure one inch up from the bottom and that's where I'm going to put it there. Okay, so on the actual fence post or the fence um, slat that I'm putting up, you can see I measured it to be one inch from the bottom is where it's going to sit on this bottom rail. So I'm going to go ahead and screw that board in now. Um, oops, I'm doing this one handed. To eventually stain this fence um, however the reason I have not done that ahead of time is because I don't really have a workspace I've got my little picnic table and I've got my lawn and that's about it so I have to um, have a place I would have to have a place to set all those slats and they would be sitting in the grass and getting all gross so I'm just gonna go ahead and do it like this, even though the finished product would have looked better had I pre-painted or stained, but this way will work too. Okay, so, oops, all right, so there's the fence, or the panel I made. So now on to the next one. Okay, so what I've done now, I've attached a string to the fence post that I'm going to run up against. And I pulled it down there and put in a T-post so that the fence line will be straight, or at least straight in the direction that I want it to go. Whew. I've also been digging 
because I have to level out this ground. As you can see, there's quite a height difference um, here. So, or maybe you can't see, I don't know. But anyway, I have to level out this ground a bit so that the bottom of the fence rail will sit relatively flat and straight. Okay, so I'm now to the install of what I've got done at the fence. This is my exciting favorite happy time. So I um, hooked up a, uh, a screen right here to the existing fence line so that I could pull it down there straight and put it into a T-post so I could have a perfectly straight line or at least as best as I can do straight line to whatever direction I'm going. So now um, I brought the fence panel up and it was a it was unlevel, so I had to um, dig to dig uh, to level out the ground. So this is the part where you can stand back and eye it and see that it's it's fairly level. You can see that it's fairly level, but if you have access to a level, this is the part that will work really well. The level. Okay, so I'm going to set the level there. Okay, so you can see Wow, that's just about perfect. Okay, so that's good. Let's see what this is. And that is perfect. That is shocking. I cannot believe that. Okay, well, good. So here's the, what the inside of the fence will look like. So now that panel is up, I'm going to go ahead and find the hardware I need. Probably just a big long screw. And I'm going to attach this fence post here and this new panel board and I'm going to do it through these two access points through the thickest part of the fence there and down here okay so this is exciting I am so excited Okay, it's lunchtime. So this is what I've got up of my fence line so far. Um, the hardest part about this entire fencing has been the getting it up level and straight. And although it is not going to be perfect, I am doing the absolute best I can do and I have been uh, having to, you know, really check and double check and redo a couple of things just to try and get it, you know, to the best of my ability. It is a refurbished fence. Um, I'm working with what I've got. I'm doing what I can do with what I've got, and that's you know, that's all any of us can do.